cute. So cute. Awesome. You got the bag or you back at the hotel? Let me get that lotion out. I have lotion, but my purse is out there. You know, I'm, I'm always, I always got lotion. I'm going to be smelling like you. Last time I did an interview <laughs> with you, I was going to tweet it because I couldn't find your tweet, but I smelled like you for like a couple of hours and I, and I, I didn't, I still haven't washed the shirt. So <laughs> yes. I still smell you sometimes before I go to bed and I sleep with the shirt over my pillow. The last interview we did because you hugged me. I did, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was trying to do some jujitsu with you. <laughs> But you didn't fall for it. No, I didn't. You smart as hell. I am. Yeah. I know. I went to a good school. Damn. <laughs> Rampage, you did tell me the other day when we were in our interview that, that you'd be mad as hell if you didn't win tonight. And I know you are upset. And you were, you, you came in joking. But as, it feels like as the night is going on, you, you are getting a little more bummed, yeah? No, I'm, I'm mad. Yeah. I am mad as hell. I, 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 was upset that, I was upset that I didn't lose. I'm going to put on lotion while I do this interview because okay. I'm super ashy because I took a shower. Yeah, I, I am mad as hell, but I'm not a sore loser, you know. But I got to keep it real. I'm, 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 I am, you know, I'm a true sportsman. I think a lot of fighters, you know, understand, like, you can't win you can't, them all. You know what I'm saying? Fans don't understand it, but fighters understand. You can't win them all. And um, I felt like uh, that... I'm just glad that you know I didn't get hurt too bad, and you know, so I'm so I'm not totally bummed, but it's a relief for the fight to be over. I trained really hard, and what, you know what what happens happens. Yeah. How I see, obviously you have stitches. Now, how did he hurt you, and and you know how bad is it? I don't know. He, I don't know. I don't remember. I got to watch the fight, yeah. but most times when I lose, I don't watch the fights. Yeah. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. So I think he elbowed me, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was elbow. Now, when you're actually in the octagon with John, is he as fast? Is he as unpredictable as you know the, he's rumored to be, or as he looks no, on film? Actually, actually, John John Jones is not as unpredictable. Uh, I'm on. I'm doing an interview, guys. <laughs> See, when you get your ass kicked, you get no respect from me. <laughs> I respect. <him. laughs> okay. No, he actually uh, he's not as unpredictable as people say because I my my coaches um, watch him and they, they train him for it, but it's just. Um, it's just hard when he got his hand in your face and so you don't want to go for it because um, you, just, you just think about you'll get poked in the eye. And that's one of those things like you worry about. You think you'll get poked in the eye. You get, and it's like, it's weird. And then just certain things he do, like um, when, he, when he kick you your knee backwards, that can, that can mess you up. And you moving forward, that can really mess you up. So it's these little things in the back of your head like, oh, if I move forward, if I move forward, he's going to poke me in the eye or he's going to, he's going to kick, kick my knee backwards. So. He's smart about what, what he does. Well, that's the thing, though. He has that distance and that range, and so you're kind of, I mean, what do you do then? Because you got to get inside to land your punches. Yeah, you got to get inside him, but then he got his fingers in your face like this yeah. and, and, your, and your knees and kicking your knee back. So you just got to get, you got to find a way to get around that. But I, I, I think that um, he's kind of like a, um, he's kind of like a um, Machida. You could probably got to fight him twice. You know, so that's what Shogun, he had to, he had to fight him twice. But you beat Machida. Yeah, I know. I I I, I beat Machida because uh, it, it was Machida after Machida's first loss, and that's the best time to beat somebody. I had to tell you, Machida came back and knocked the hell out of Rand in his next fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was his first time getting knocked out, so his mind he he doubted. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's throwing finger signs every time he turns it. See, do I ever mess with Congo while he's doing interviews? No. <laughs> You, I do have to say, the person that fights you next, whoever it may be, if you, if you, you know, chill for a bit while Shogun fights Hendo, I know you want that fight, but do you feel that the person who has you next is, is really going to get their butt kicked? I mean, because you, you looked better today than you have in a long time. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think whoever fights you next is, is in for it because now I know how hard I can train. Like, my, my team um, really pushed, pushed me really hard, and uh, my manager, uh, uh, Anthony McGann and Lee McGann, they put together a great, a great camp. And like they structured everything, and they did like a, um, or they did like a, a focus board and everything, and they just put together a great camp. And Anthony McGann and Lee McGann, everybody, the Wolf Lair. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a good night for you. I think, like I said, you you to me, I think the fans were cheering for you more than John, and I think tonight a lot of people were impressed with the Rampage that showed up, even though you said Rampage didn't come, which I don't really understand. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes Rampage don't show up for the fights, and I've still won sometimes when he didn't show up, but. He didn't show up against Rashad. He didn't show up against uh, against uh, Jones. There's been a couple other fights, but it's like one of those things. Like, normally, like Rampage would never complain if he got kneed and kicked in. Like that knee didn't even hurt. Like when I got kneed against uh, um, Jardine, I, I got kicked straight up. I didn't even care. Like he, got, he kneed me in us a little bit, and he poked me in the eye a little bit. It didn't even hurt. But I, I noticed that I was complaining, and that, and that was bothering me because I know. I can tell when he's there and when he's not sometimes. And it's one of those things, you know.
but I put in I put in the uh, the work. I trained really hard, and um, I, I got through camp uh, injury free. And I'm just ha I'm just happy to um, make a lot of money. Well, I will ask this: Is there something that you are proud of, though, in your performance? I know you're disappointed that you didn't win, but is there something that you thought tonight? You know what, Rampage? Uh, this was actually pretty good f for me. Oh, uh, well, actually, when you think about it, at first I, you know, I often gonna say no, but I, I was pretty impressed with my wrestling. What you guys say about my wrestling? <laughs> That's the only thing I got going. <laughs> no, you had, you had good head movement tonight too. Oh, I thought. Good head movement. Good head movement. <laughs> now, so, my team, my team said wrestling and the head movement. Yeah. That's probably good, but. The head movement, I was to do more with it, but I didn't. I'm just really disappointed in myself. They'll probably be one of the fights that I never watch. All right. Well, at least you got uh, Mr. Congo over there to go out and get loose with tonight, right? He's got a fight coming up, but... Yeah, Congo's no fun at the club because he, he, he don't drink, and then all the girls be all over him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we two black guys. Like, if a girl like black guys and, and Congo around, he... Yeah. <laughs> you think he gets him first before you do? They, they be all about me, whether he likes him or not, but then they still be all over him. See, see Congo, he's in love with this one girl. Yeah. But her feet are, are bigger than his, so I don't, I don't, I don't know why he's. In love. But anyway, that's a whole other story. And but anyway, you go anywhere, Congo, you can't get no girls, you can't get no ladies. Well, I think you'll do all right tonight, though, Rampage. If you was with me, I'd be doing all right. <laughs> oh, and thanks, and thanks for the shout out during the press conference. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was hilarious. Well, well, hilarious. Notice I'm being good around her. There was no motorboats here. <laughs> I'm not even looking at those titties. I'm keeping my eyes off them. Not even looking that way. <laughs> Paige. Um, I would say congratulations because I do think that you put on a good performance tonight. But uh, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I keep forgetting the cameraman is the hubby. <laughs> but let me shake your hand. Come when I shake your hand, the titties jiggle. <laughs> That's better than the motorboat. The titties jiggling. Everybody, you all to see them. They keep, look, they still bouncing that. <laughs> Thank you, Rampage. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get it.